Hello everyone and welcome. I don't know if you saw my last video. I went to Hobby Lobby. They had some really good deals and I got a lot of stuff there. So I really didn't need too much and I did have a budget set for this year because we already do have a lot of decor. So I want to make sure that I'm utilizing what we already have and then just implementing some new fun things for this year. This trip was Target and Home Goods. So I'm going to start with Target. So the first thing that I got at Target was this snow blanket and I have seen so many people using, I think it's called Buffalo Snow. Um, I could not find that anywhere at Target. I'm sure they probably have, you know, if you went and just got the pillow stuffing, I'm sure you could probably use that too. But this was actually in the holiday section. So I just went ahead and picked this up. So it is a thinner roll. So it is not like the fluff, uh, like the cotton stuffing that um, I know a lot of people, have, I've seen them use um, where they load it onto the branches and it makes it just look really cute and fluffy and like it's just snowed on there. But I'm primarily using this for her Christmas tree. Um, not for our big Christmas tree in the living room, but for her Christmas tree, and it's only about a four foot. So I really didn't need anything, I don't want to say bulky, but I didn't need anything to take up a lot of room. So I kind of like that it's thin, um, and then I may just kind of cut it scalloped and then just kind of blanket it around, but we'll see. Um, if I don't end up using it, then I'll just take it back. And the last item that I got at Target was this really cute beetle ornament. I have never seen a bug ornament, I don't think, or maybe I have and I just don't remember, but I just thought this was really neat. It is a felt material, but I just loved the different, I, I don't know, I, just, I loved how unique it was. And our tree is going to be the earth tones, um, like these colors. So I just figured, I love bugs. He's a cool beetle, so I had to pick him up. So moving on to home goods, um, I am not considering this part of the decor budget because I have factored this into my daughter's Christmas present budget. <laughs> so this I am going to put on her bed. Um, she's getting a new bed for Christmas. Um, she will be two and a half. So we are transitioning her from a crib into a full size bed. So make sure you stay tuned for that video because it is the coolest bed I think I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm so happy that we found it. But um, this is going to be one of her little pillows. So it is a uh, big squishy and we love Bumble. If you didn't see our previous video, we love Bumble. So this I had to have. And even though it is a present, um, it is still, you know, I'm going to be displaying it on her bed. So that way um, it can be part of her decor. And then next is this sweet Minnie Mouse. I love this. It has the little earmuffs and she is just the cutest little thing. She is not, I mean, she doesn't scream Christmas, but I just think with the little earmuffs, it says winter to me. So I, I definitely had to pick it up and she loves Minnie Mouse. <laughs> so we had to get this um, and this um, just like the Bumble Pillow, it is factored into her Christmas present budget. So I'm not including this actually in the budget for decor. And then next we have this really cute bamboo set of a plate, some silverware, a little cup, and she loves drinking out of um, like big girl cups <laughs> like this where it's not like a sippy cup with a straw. So she just feels so grown up when she is drinking out of a cup like adults are. So I just thought this was really cute. And we are doing the Grinch theme for the kitchen. So I just thought that was really cute. And they did have these in Mickey and Minnie. 
and I thought she would have liked that a little better, but because we're already doing the Grinch theme in the kitchen, I just felt like it would go better, um, you know, just like being left out or, you know, just sitting around the counter, but um, they had some really cute sets this year. And then keeping with the Grinch theme, we got this cute garland and I love how big these um, felt, uh, the felt garland is. Um, normally when you see them, they're small beads, but these are really big. So I love that and I love that it's more of a natural look to it. It's got some darker, so I just, I love that it's not super bright, that it's, I don't know, I just, I just like it um, this way, but it does have the green for the Grinch um, and the white and red of the colors that we were going for. So that is gonna be really fun on the island. And we found this really sweet garland that will be for Shiloh's room. So it says Merry Christmas, but it is in sort of the same type colors, but they're muted. Um, and I just think that it is so fun. It's definitely gonna go with that kind of retro Candyland type theme. And it's definitely got all of her colors. And this one is a six foot garland as well. So that's gonna be really cute. Um, she does have a section possibly above her bed when we set it up that I may be able to drape this across. If not, then I'll put it above her dresser. But I'll do a whole video of um, the decor and everything when we get it set up. This trip was really short. Um, we basically have most of the stuff we already need. I may pick up a couple of things, just maybe some garland, um, you know, just some greenery. But for the most part, we are, we're done with Christmas decor, but I <laughs> saved the best for last. And this does not go with any type of theme, but I couldn't not get it. <laughs> so it is this music box. And I think this is the coolest music box I have ever seen. I mean, it is so intricate. so much for watching this video and I hope you guys have a very merry shopping experience and I hope you stay tuned to see how we decorate and how all of it comes together. Bye guys!